Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a very very nice feature that I'm talking about here very interesting program that you can download to check if you're vulnerable to the uh, CPU or the processor security flaws that we talked about uh, in the past few weeks so there's a um, guy called uh, Steve Gibson of the GRC.com website or Gibson Research Corporation He's a very, very good programmer and good, um, you know, um, security guru, basically. He has actually a little program that you can download that you can actually check if your computer's fixed for the security flaws or not. So it's a little piece of software called Inspector. Word of caution, if you download it from Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer, you'll get a real big red screen saying this is not safe. It is not true. This is totally safe. It's just because this software tweaks the registry. And also that it's probably unknown by the filter that is used uh, in Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge. So if you want to use it, you'll probably have to use Google Chrome, uh, Firefox or Opera uh, or anything else in Internet Explorer or Edge to actually download the file. And don't worry, it is totally safe. It also adds a very cool feature that I'll be talking about. So, you go to this page, I'll post the link in the description below the video. And you go down here, click the Download Now button. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of... Um, uh, instructions and, and information it actually tells you here that there's the bogus smart screen warning and edge in IE 11 unfortunately uh, so download this and run it when you execute it in Windows you'll see this little I'm just gonna shut down this one in so this is what's gonna happen you're gonna have this window pop up and tell you if you're vulnerable or not so you see here for my computer I am vulnerable for Spectre it says that I don't have what need you know the, the fix and it's normal because I've checked the Toshiba website there's still no firmware BIOS whatever update for my machine uh, and unfortunately I'm scared that there will never be one um, but I am now fixed for meltdown now just a word of caution here okay a lot of you will have the same thing that I have here meaning Spectre is not going to be fixed meltdown is going to be fixed of course, um, if you have the knowledge or a friend of yours has, has the knowledge, have them go to your manufacturer's website to see if they released an update to the firmware of your machine or the BIOS of your machine. Um, that would fix Spectre because Spectre needs to be fixed at the processor level where Meltdown is fixed by a Windows update. So that explains why Meltdown is fixed for me. So uh, that's what you got to know. And, uh, the other thing you got to know is that the most important one to be fixed is Meltdown because that's the easiest to exploit, where Spectre is a little more difficult to exploit. And you got to rely on the fact that your browsers that have been updated are trying to um, kind of mitigate, they're trying to lower the risk of the Spectre and Meltdown attacks through the browser itself. Now, the added bonus of this thing and first of all if you look in the windows there's a lot of information explaining everything and where you're you know safe or not but what's really nice is that look at the bottom here there's disable meltdown protection and if you have spectre you'll have a disable spectre protection now you might be saying well why do you want to disable this this is totally crazy well because these two fixes slow down your computers and for some certain usage you might want to have your computer running at full speed again so it actually tells you you can disable one or both of the fixes temporarily if you need speed and then you can enable them back when you want to stay safe and you don't need as much power so this utility is really cool to have and to keep because you'll be able to throttle on and or off the security fixes to get speed that you need on your computer for example what I kind of see here is that I might want to disable the fix for streaming videos when I do my live shows because I have noticed that my computer is slower so it uh, is a very very cool little utility download it 
keep it. If you want to have your computer running faster, you can disable temporarily, depending on what you do. And you can re-enable the protections uh, after you, you know, don't need as much power in your PC. And uh, don't go crazy over the fact that maybe some is uh, fixed or not, because um, I suspect a lot of older computers will never have a fix for Spectre. Um, that's something to be checking out. So uh, Inspector, really, really nice little utility from uh, Steve Gibson's GRC.com website. Link is in the description below the video. Check it out. It's a very cool little um, utility to have. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you so much for following us on this channel.